Hello, Madam Mayor and Council. Happy New Year. So I'm here today to call on this council to pass a resolution condemning the Lieutenant Governor of the State of California for attempt at blatant election interference interference and attempted violation of the right of due process of law of an American citizen, which is a violation of the Fifth and Fourteenth Amendments to the U.S. Constitution. Full disclosure before I get started, I am a registered Republican. I did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016. I did vote for him in 2020. I am not supporting him this year in the primaries. None of that matters. The Lieutenant Governor sought to do, what the Lieutenant Governor sought to do was a greater threat to democracy than anything that happened on January 6, 2021. Allow me to explain. The lieutenant governor sought to just declare a U.S. citizen to be an insurrectionist without any charges being filed, without trial, and with the accused being denied the opportunity to cross-examine witnesses and refute evidence, which is a violation of the Sixth Amendment. Could the lieutenant governor just declare any of you an insurrectionist without conviction of a crime or even a trial in order to prevent you from running for re-election or seeking any other elected office? No. The lieutenant governor also engaged in election interference by attempting to remove someone from, who meets all the constitutional qualifications to be president from the California ballot. She is every bit the threat to democracy her and other elected officials claim Donald Trump is. She attempted to disenfranchise potentially millions of California voters and thousands of Elk Grove residents by eliminating the ability of citizens to vote for the person they want. On top of that, she further demonstrated her ignorance of the Constitution by saying in her letter to the California Secretary of State that the minimum age to be president is 40 years old. For those of you who don't know, it's 35. By doing this, the Lieutenant Governor is also encouraging the same thing to be done to Democrats in Republican states. Her attempt to remove Trump from the ballot by declaring him ineligible by decree could easily be done to Joe Biden and any other Democrat in heavily Republican states or Republican-led swing states, which is currently being floated as an idea in the state of Missouri. This is inviting abuses of power by state officials all over the country by members of all political parties. It's such an awful idea that our very own Governor Patrick Bateman, sorry, Gavin Newsom, said this was a bad idea. The Lieutenant Governor is a threat to democracy, not just at the national and state level, but a threat to democracy right here in Elk Grove. For this, she should be declared insurrectionist and removed from office. Okay, not really, just kidding. But it is imperative that she be forcefully condemned for undemocratic ways so the next wannabe authoritarian knows to think twice. I hope this council will do that. Thank you.